Hi, welcome to the channel to Rational. I'm Pranesh Sharma and in this video we are going to discuss the differences between the institutes of IFOA and IAI for pursuing actuarial science. Both these institutes have made drastic changes in the way they conduct the examination. I'll discuss both of them. The information in this video is accurate up to 9th November 2024. Any information released after that I will write down in the pinned comment below. So please check that out too. And then finally we will answer which institute do you choose whether IFOA or IAI. So let's get started. The first thing we'll discuss is the location and the reach of both of these institutes. IFOA Institute is based in United Kingdom whereas IAI is based in India. IFOA is a 176 year old institute and Indian Institute is 80 years old. So both are very highly reputed institutes. The IFOA members work across the globe whereas the IAI members work primarily in India and surrounding countries. So if you are planning to work in Europe, America or Australia, I would recommend that you choose IFOA. But if you don't have such immediate plans, you can choose any one of these because IAI students can still go outside depending on your company and your experience. Now let's talk about the examination structures and all the changes that both these institutes have made. So IFOA has a defined syllabus that is divided into four groups and 13 papers and they do not have any entrance examination. IAI follows the exact same syllabus rather the course structure is exactly taken from IFOA but they do have an entrance exam called ACET. The ACET examination consists of subjects like mathematics, statistics, English, logical reasoning and data interpretation. If you are planning to give the examination from IAI, next ACET examination is in December and you should check out the syllabus and start preparing for it. Now IFOA is going to conduct online examination that is closed book and proctored. Up till this September 2024, the IFOA examinations were open book and were not proctored. But from the next April 2025 examination, the examinations are going to be proctored. That means it will be monitored by some invigilator through webcam and mic. And you cannot refer to any material physical or online other than the table book that is provided by the IFOA Institute. IAI has been conducting the same type of examination from 2020. So their examination is also online, it is also closed book and proctored. IFOA conducts examinations two times a year, that would be every April and September. IAI has recently announced that they would be conducting examination four times a year, that is February, May, August and November, at least for the subjects of CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2, CB1, CB2. In IFOA, these examinations are mostly subjective with some objective, especially in the examinations of CB1 and CB2, you will find a lot of objectives, whereas in CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2, you will have some objectives, but mostly they are going to be subjective examinations. In IAI, the initial six examinations are going to be 100% MCQs, that means CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2, CB1, CB2. These examinations are going to be 100% MCQs, at least the paper A examinations. For CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2, the paper B examinations will be exactly the same. That means on Excel or on R programming, depending on the subjects. The later examinations of CA and SPSA groups are not changed, that means they are going to be mostly subjective with some objective questions. This is the major difference between their exam structure. Now another big difference between IFOA and IAI is going to be in their fee structure. So let's discuss that. For IFOA, I am going to take only the reduced rates because that is applicable for almost everyone, especially the students. When you start working and you have an income over 8,700 pounds, 
then you pay the full rate. Hence, for most of us, the reduced rates are applicable and that is why I have taken that here. So the membership of IFOA is 133 pounds. The conversion rate is usually one pound is approximately 100 rupees. So for an approximate conversion, you can just multiply each value by 100 and that will be approximately what you would be paying in Indian rupees. The membership of IAI is 2000 rupees. These membership fees are paid one time and then you have to pay an annual fees. The annual fees of IFOA is 83 pounds which is due every October. Whereas for IAI it is 2000 and it is due every April. Other than these fees you pay examination fees as you attempt the examination. For both of these institutes the examination fees changes subject to subject. I have included a few here like for the first four CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2 examination the fees is 200 pounds. Whereas for CB1 and 2, the fees is 150 pounds. These are all reduced rate fees that are applicable if your annual income is less than 8700. That means the student's annual income, not the parents. Whereas in IAI, the CM1, CM2, CS1, CS2 fees are 5000 rupees and CB1 and 2 fees are 3000 rupees for each one of these papers. Plus, there is a compulsory purchase one time of the course material per subject. The purchase of the course material that also ranges anywhere from 5000 rupees to 8000, 9000 rupees. But the overall fees that an IAI student pays is comparatively much lower than what a student from IFOA would pay. So that becomes a very big point when a student chooses an institute whether going for IFOA or going for IAI. Now finally, let's see what are the advantages of these institutes and which institute should we choose. If you choose IFOA and after clearing certain papers, you realize that you want to switch to IAI. That is very easily possible because all papers are exempted in IFOA. So if you have cleared let's say CM1 and CS1 from IFOA and then switch to IAI, they will give you exemption for those papers. If you are planning your higher studies abroad in some European college or US college, you should always choose IFOA. It will be easier for you to transition from here to there. All the examinations in IFOA are going to be subjective and you have to type those answers in MS Word. So if you are comfortable in typing, you know that your typing speed is fast, then you should choose IFOA. As the papers are subjective, you will get step markings if your final answer is wrong, but you have correctly solved the rest of the questions, you will always get step markings. If you start your actual journey with IAI and after clearing a few papers, you decide that I want to switch to IFOA, you will not get an exemption paper wise, but if you clear the complete degree, a fellow degree or an associate degree from IAI, it is recognized by IFOA and you can apply for a degree directly from IFOA. So after completing your actual studies, if you plan to shift abroad, you can get a degree from IFOA as well. The biggest advantage of students from IAI has is that the fees is comparatively very low. So if there are financial crunches, you should always go for IAI. Now a lot of students in India are not very comfortable in typing. So IAI has made the examinations 100% MCQs at least for the initial six papers. So if you don't have a lot of experience in typing, you should go for IAI. IAI is going to conduct these examinations four times a year. That will be advantages for a student who could not clear an examination by just a few marks and could reappear for the examination in just three months. This is not an indication that any of these papers can be studied within three months. These are professional examination and almost every examination will require anywhere from four months to eight months of study. 
and you should not assume that you will be able to clear just by studying it for two or three months. This was all the information you would require to choose correctly between the institute's IFOA or IAI. As a future actuary, you should always make an informed decision. If you have any more questions, please do comment. I will reply as soon as possible. Do like and share this video. I'll see you in the next one.